Hey, chat room. Uh, uh, Chad's there. We're on live on YouTube. All right. Chad, thank you. Uh, let me see. Oh, we have one minute, and then we will get this on the road. Uh, uh, um. It's so funny that I don't know how to get it here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wait a minute. Thirty seconds. <laughs> uh -uh -um. <laughs> Flying it. He can't wait that long. Well, believe it or not, we're starting on time, and I believe we are live on our own channel and on YouTube. So there's only one thing left to do, and that's to start. It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt's Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to Totally Unimproved Giz Fizz. Getting out the special machine so we can find out what number it is. And it is Giz Fizz. I don't know why it does that. Giz Fizz 571. Um, all right, that's, that's special effects. And now magically, yo, yeah, and that's a yes answer. And now watch the music just stop instantly. Oh, and the Giz Fizz sign just shut off. It's magical. Um, okay, so we're going to do uh, photos from George Davis. We're going to do, uh, looks like, maybe weather gadgets from uh, George Davis. They're going to play Logo. We're going to do uh, facts from, I'm not saying you're stupid. We're going to do a, you'll write some snappy answers to a stupid question. Match game. And then our mascot dog, Charlie, will be here. Yes, Maguda. Uh, uh, George, you're already getting thank yous, even though we haven't started yet. But we will start. Okay, let's go to George. Photo number one. Oh, my God. What breed, chat room? What breed? Spaniel. It's a what? A Spaniel. A Spaniel? Anyway, it is a very sad-looking dog. Like, is anybody ever going to feed me? Or is anybody ever going to take me for a walk? Uh, anyway, you can make up anything you want to go along with that f a pitiful breed. <laughs> um, I'm dreaming of a doggy treat, puppy love. You can't resist. Give me what I want now. That's Charlie. At 10 o'clock, Charlie goes berserk. Where's my dinner? Uh, where's my play date? Oh, it's a King Charles Spaniel. Okay. I'm trying to make the world's record for cutest dog. Honest, I would never tear up that new silk pillow. Uh, I think Loke has it. Yeah, I think it is a King Charles Spaniel. Um, that's supposed to be funny. Hush, puppy. I couldn't possibly have made that mess. I'm a national treasure. Who locked out the cat? <laughs> Not me, says Pac. Uh, 
Uh, someday all my dreams will come true, says Jamma B. Oh, welcome, Jamma B. Spaceman, hug me or I'll rip your face off. Uh, I'm not sad. I'm just contemplating the fate of the universe. <laughs> okay. And we'll end with, we'll end with, uh, uh, one more chat room. We'll end with Dan. I didn't make that mess. It was the cat. Uh, okay, let's see. George said, for the dog giving off a sad look. My caption is, when I give my owner this look, he usually feels sad for me and gives me a much better dinner meal. <laughs> yeah, dogs, they know how to work the room. Uh, all right, together, we will go to George's photo number two. Um, I don't know what kind of cupcake it is, but I like it already. All right. A cupcake with vanilla icing and I, I'm assuming jelly beans, right? Jelly beans, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cupcake, Big jelly beans. frosting, and giant jelly beans on top. Uh, cornbread dessert, Easter cupcakes. Um, Eric said maybe pumpkin or sweet potato. Cornbread, Jamma B says. Loke, I'll take those Jordan almonds. Uh, 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 are they almonds? They can't be that color, right? Uh, Easter Bunny is now in the carrot cake business. Don't mind if I do, says Tang. I feel like George is hungry when he finds these pictures, says Dwindle. Decorate your own cupcake, says Magoo. Pack. Buttercream frosting, that's what I think. Uh, Ranger Rick, dessert with sugar treats to go. Gives one, just says yummy. And Mr. Dave said, I don't need a fork. You're supposed to put the eggs in the batter, not on top of the baked cupcake, says Paul. Just the one, spaceman. Loke, well, they are coated. <laughs> Uh, I don't think this cake is large enough to feed this entire party. A bunny's dream, carrot cake with candy eggs atop. People gave me so many carrot tips, I made carrot cake. God, chat room on fire with this. We don't have the budget for a seven-layer cake. Sorry. Candy-coated almonds, beans, and cornbread. Uh, flying out so that our captions sound worse than the cupcake looks. Worse than the cupcake looks? Uh, that looks too healthy, says Demos. And we'll end with Eric Duckman, who says, could be a carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. Uh, that would be my guess, too. Uh, let's see. Let's see. George said, for the cupcake... My caption is one of this is one of my favorite tasting cupcakes. It's spice cake dough, and I have it with a cold glass of milk. Um, all right, let's move on to uh, George. Let's see what George said. George, okay, George said this is my aunt teaching my brother how to bowl. Okay. So a mom teaching her kid how to bowl. All right. And let's see what the chat room says. Bowling for luggage. A young brother bowling for babies. Eric said, you're never going to get that split. Um, it's so small, I need a bowling handicap. Um, Mom said, next she's going to make me throw. It's going to throw me down the lane after the ball. Looks like he's holding a luggage handle. I tell you, he's holding some, something in his hand. Young boy looking to get a tricky split. Bowling split, tough split to pick up for a newbie. Youngest person gets the split. Spare me, can't spare another ball. The ball actually stopped halfway to the pins. Make like a banana and split. You're not supposed to use an orange. It does look like an orange. Looks like a tiny ball. Uh, no, Johnny, you can't run after the ball here. 
Strike, 100% pure gold bowling ball. Bowling the roller coaster. Here's one said, hit the split and we'll end with Martron. You have to pick up the spare if you want ice cream later. I guess the mother is telling the kid. Um, okay, and let's see. George said, my caption is for the aunt teaching my brother how to bowl. The show brings back fond memories for me. I'm sure it will in time for Mike as well. I guess the kid is Mike. Uh, okay, let's go on to photo four. Uh, oh. Oh. Hmm. That is <laughs> bacon. We have, we have we have to go back again and see if they're doing that again. Um, Audi Cafe has happy hour from five to seven, and drinks are eight to ten dollars, which for a New York bar is like incredibly cheap. And on the bar, they have. Big, high uh, jaws of crispy bacon, honey roasted. honey roasted bacon, and next to it, jaws of uh, breadsticks. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Looks like bacon, but tastes like floor tiles. Uh, dogs don't know it's not bacon. Bacon goes with everything. I'm kind of going backwards because I miss so many. Uh, making bacon and pancakes. Oh, bacon pancakes. That sounds good. Um, bacon cake. Bacon jerky. Baking bacon. If we add water, will it become a living pig again? My daily morning breakfast. Salty snacks sell beers. Uh, when she said I'll strip for you, I didn't think she meant bacon strips. That's funny, Dan. I went to the strip club. The bacon strip club. Uh, club, says Maltron. Captain J, I know a bunch of pigs freezing without their blankets. Well-rounded breakfast. Bacon. Enough said, Hawks Post. Um, who's josing, jostling for BLTs? Uh, bake the bacon till it's baked. Google Selena for the answer. And we'll end with pack. I'll take a BLT, please. Just leave, you can leave off the L and the T. Just bring the B. All right, George said, for the bacon frying, my caption is, you can't make a mistake as to what kind of meat is cooking. The smell is overwhelming. I would say the aroma. <laughs> uh, although the smell of baking does work. Okay, that was four. Uh, um, we'll go to photo five. Okay. All right, George, what do you say five is? Um, five, George said, this is <laughs> two of my cousins in a red wagon. All right. George says, two of my cousins in a red wagon. Uh, mm -mm. Okay. I'm waiting for that to register with the chat room. It's If you're just listening... Uh, it's two cute kids in a little red wagon. Powered by cuteness. Who's driving this wagon? Uh, time to go to the candy store. They keep telling us we're too young to get married. Won't you ride in my little red wagon? More childhood memories. It is. My little sister. <laughs> my little sister's the backseat driver. Uh, Selena in Slovakia's take on bacon. My mom and uncle in their 30s. Uh, starting young with Uba. George's family is quite young. A load of cute. 
Uh, she just says, go faster. Reminds me of my radio flyer, says Jamez. It does look like a radio flyer. Uh, racing for the speed of light. I'll pull you around and you can tell everyone's stories. And here we have the first trip in a Greyhound bus wagon. Now with cuteness technology. Early lessons on not wearing a seatbelt. Uh, we need to see the uh, photo rights release form. <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, Jam and B says, George, we need to see the uh, photo release for those two kids. Uh, Paul says, look at the cliff over there. Do you think we should stop the wagon before we get any closer? Uh, typical man, he's lost and he won't ask for directions, says Dan. Front seat's broken. And the axle's dragging. Well, let's see what happens if we put a rocket on this. And we'll end with Dwindle to the moon. To the moon. Okay, let's see. For George's cousins in a red wagon, my caption is, I'm sure my cousins will always remember their first ride in their new wagon. Well, you know, it's been painted over. It looks like it's, <laughs> the wagon says Greyhound on it. I think it's a radio flyer knockoff. Um, okay, we'll go to George's final photo. Uh, that's a race boat with a Merc outboard. Okay, a hydrofoil. Not a hydrofoil. A race boat with a Merc. I can't even tell the horsepower. Okay, red race boat, outboard powered. Yeah, hydro, not hydrofoil, hydro. Um, okay. Let's see what we have here. Uh, 130 hydro, Elrond <laughs> evading arrest. What could go wrong? This is what what is becoming after the wagon after we put a rocket on. Oh, that's funny. Straight out of a Bond film. Mine's faster. Dominoes, 30 minutes or less. I traded my wa red wagon for the red boat. High-speed water tacky, flying on the water. Close-up of Tommy's new toy in the swimming pool. That's a big engine for a little boat. Vroom. Formula One on water. Wait till I flip this over backwards. <laughs> You'll be amazed. Kids opted for faster transportation. When the aliens found themselves trying to land on water, rum run a special, racing on the planet Mercury. Iceberg dead ahead. Iceberg dead ahead, says Dennis. Uh, Dwindle says, stupid boat, no bathroom. Where's the poop deck on this tub, says Dan. And we'll end with L.A. Eric, Dickie D's Other Ride. All right, George says, for the red speedboat, my caption is, they say this will go 10 miles per hour faster than you think it will. Let's see. Um, okay, so when uh, I used to race boats, I used to write a, 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 mag, a, a column for a, a magazine called Powerboat Magazine. And one day I, I did a, a kind of a mad type article for boaters, how to make your boat go fast without spending too much money or no money. And, and one of the things was, this is, this is for young men, was to comb your hair back and then use you know, hairspray, so it stays back. And then when you go, no matter what speed you're going, and people look over, you look like you're really flying because the wind is pushing your hair back. So uh, my friend Tom Ireland <laughs> in the race division of Mercury made me a speed wig. It was <laughs> really great. <laughs> uh, I hope I can find it. You know, so you, you it, find it, yeah, I wish I could. I, only wish in those days we had cameras handy. You know, so many funny things uh, happened. 
Uh, but my speed wig was uh, great. All right, so now, ta-da, we're going to do facts. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you know, Jamma B might be good at this. Temperatures on the moon have a huge range. What do you think? How hot it could get in bright sunlight. I'm not sure I quite get this. Temperature on the moon can range from... what it is in bright sunlight. All right, the temperature of the moon in bright sunlight. Uh, 200, 200 degrees. Oh, my God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Jamma B, do you know this? Jamma B's right, uh, 250 degrees. Jamma B, I don't, uh, you know, I, I don't think Jamma B would be, he's just, he just likes all this stuff. All right, so Jamma B, no Googling. Everybody can play this. In the darkness of the craters on the moon, how cold can it get? In the darkness of the craters on the moon, how cold can it get? Uh, um, minus O. Oh. <laughs> Look, said uh, Mr. Dave said, damn cold. Uh, minus 150. Jamma B says, uh, minus 250. Minus. Dan said, it's so cold, even an Eskimo pie wears a Parker. 230, minus 230, minus 250. Uh, 40 degrees below Fahrenheit, minus 240. Becky, minus 242. Colder than a witch's boob. Well, chat room, you're actually very, very close. Let me see. Uh, okay, the answer here is... In the dark craters of the moon, the temperature can be as low as 208 degrees minus. It's minus... <laughs> it's minus something, says Loke. Um, okay. What's the... This will be good. What's the... You, maybe Dennis has an answer, too. The best way... To remove sticky gum stuck to your shoe. The best way to remove sticky gum stuck to your shoe. Fire, freezer, <laughs> lick it off, roll it off. Then it says ice cubes. Okay. WD 40, a lot of WD 40s. Ice cubes, use more gum, chew it, nuclear bomb, freeze it, ice cube. Becky says put the shoe in the freezer. Peanut butter, freeze it and then chip it off. <laughs> Throw it out. Buy new shoes, use dog poop. Oh, j -Mets, use a cheese grater. Luke says peanut butter or ice. Bacon, I don't think bacon works. Um, burn it off, chew it off, ice cubes. Walk suppose, put it in a moon crater, soak it in oil. <laughs> Paul says, ask it very nicely to leave. <laughs> okay. Oh, many of you are right. The best way to remove sticky gum is to put it in a plastic bag and then put it in the refrigerator. And once it's cold, you will be able to remove the gum. So Dennis said ice cubes. Many of you said ice cubes. 
Uh, very good. Well, this is interesting. This is not, this is just a fact. All the numbers, when written out, all the numbers up to 1,000 do not contain the letter A. Well, I can only count to 10, and he's right there. There's no A from 1 to 10. Um, but that's fascinating. Oh, my God. The world's longest concert lasted how many hours? And George says, guess big, because even for long concerts, this is big. World's longest concert. Concert. Is that the thing at Radio City Musical? Oh, no, no. This is. That went on for hours. The world's longest concert lasted how many hours? Three days. Okay. Mm. 730 hours. 72 hours. Um, nobody is, <laughs> Spaceman said, it's still going. Well, I think so far, oh, well, Becky's closest, okay, longest concert was, went on for 453 hours. Becky, you're only off by what, like nine hours? Doesn't say. The concert, <laughs> what? The concert lasted almost 19 days. Wow. Imagine the line at the restroom when that ended. Um, how many legs does a dragonfly have? <laughs> how many legs? Does a dragonfly have? I don't know. I don't like the looks of those things. Yeah, I, I would say six too because they, I know it's more than four. Eight seems. Four legs and two arms, says Tang. Seven? Mostly, oh, wait a minute. Stephen Toronto said six legs like all insects. So does a, does a fly have six legs? Walks Post said six legs, four wings, and an attitude. Uh, all right. Dragonflies have a total of six legs, and yet they can't walk straight. <laughs> I didn't know that. But it seems like, according to the chat room, lots of insects have six legs. Unfortunately, we're all learning again. What is going on with this? Uh, Eric Duckman said, I, had, I learned that all insects had six legs, and spiders have eight. eight. Okay. Well, this is good. Um, oh, okay. That was it. Uh, George said, we made it through another show chat room. Great job, everyone. Keep on doing what you're doing. And we'll be back here doing it again in a flash. Bye for now. George Davis. All right. That was great. George, thank you. Oh, you know, before I forget, I didn't do it last week. Uh, if you want to, this is the new issue of MAD. Came out a couple of days ago. Uh, uh, uh. Da -da, uh, MAD Rose Comedy. Mm -mm -mm. 
So if you want to play the what the heck is it, I will give you a hint. Okay. Um, play cute, uh, uh, come up with cute, funny answers because a lot of people have guessed what it is, okay? And between now and next week, <laughs> Dwindle will show me how to go to my website and I can show you what it looks like. And you have till the end of April to play, okay? Just go to gizwiz.biz and click on what the heck is it. And there's a gadget there, what the heck is it? You can either guess what it really is or make up what it could be or a, something really stupid that it could be. And there's only six magazines for the right answer, but a dozen for answers we find funny, okay? Uh, gizwiz.biz. Oh, and you know what? Uh, if you win, you can get a, a ask for the Taylor Swift cover. First time ever that I have known in my 55 years at MAD where they did a second print run because this cover was so, I think it also <laughs> PO'd a lot of people who were trying to sell their copy of MAD for 25 35 One guy wanted $52 for it on eBay. But now that they made another run, it's probably not worth as much. Um, okay, da -da, we're going to do Logo, Becky's favorite. Um, and let's see if our logo has a theme. I don't know what this theme is. Um, Blizzard, Twister, Icy. I guess it's all weather, weather related. Um, bum, bum. Which of the sounds, which of these sounds sounds the same as America's favorite frozen beverage brand? Which of these is the same as America's favorite, what was it, America's favorite frozen beverage brand? I have no idea. <laughs> you know, it's interesting because we have all these words and, and just one right answer. Uh, 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 or one answer that's on this card. Uh, you can't see them all. Um, Blizzard. No, they are the icy, rainbow, sunny, and one of them is in total darkness. Do, D E W. You know, if you, can, if you combine the, the blizzard and the, and the twister, you get a blister. If you combine. The blizzard and the twister, you get a blister. A brister? Okay. Well, a blister. Oh, a Brewster? A Brewster and a Twister. A Brewster. A Brewster. Uh, pack and one other person. According to the card, it's the Icy. The Icy. Um, well, you know, I don't like this. I don't like that question at all. Because you can't read those things. It's all printed so badly. Seen on screen. This is very unusual to get two in a row that have a theme. They're mostly potluck. Seen on the screen. What brand of waffles does Eleven devour in Stranger Things? Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. Either. What brand of waffles does Eleven devour in Stranger Things? Well, evidently the chat room knows. Oh my gosh. It's the only brand anybody this, knows. Yeah. <laughs> I maybe that's it. No, um the, what what's another brand of waffles? Vans. Vans, right. Yeah. Okay. All right, these are better. Trader Joe's. In an episode of Friends, where does Rachel buy the apothecary table? 
that she tells Phoebe is an antique. God, you got to... I like Friends, but I have no idea. In an episode of Friends, where does Rachel buy the apothecary table that she tells Phoebe is an antique? Uh-huh. Mm, no. No, chat room. Oh, my God. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Paul has it. Claims it's a flea market, but she actually bought it at Pottery Barn. That is correct. The only the only person who wrote Pottery Barn. Oh, I happen to know that I happen to know this episode. Uh, this episode was very popular. Maybe we'll get more answers. In an episode of Seinfeld. Which candy do Jerry and Kramer accidentally drop into an open chest cavity of a patient during surgery? Now, this I know. In an episode of Seinfeld, what candy do Jerry and Kramer accidentally drop into the open chest cavity? <laughs> well, well. More people watch Seinfeld, I guess, than Friends. It is indeed Junior Mintz. Um, in 2015, which sitcom add, uh, add an episode shot entirely with Apple products, showing its characters communicating solely across Apple devices. Boy, I watched the show too, but I do not remember this at all. 2015, a sitcom aired an episode shot entirely with Apple products and the characters communicating solely using Apple devices. No clue. No Simpsons, I Married Joan. <laughs> uh, all right. No. It was Modern Family. Modern Family. Simpsons. I love Simpsons. Every April 15th, one of my, <laughs> one of my favorite jokes on The Simpsons is April 15th. And Homer is watching television, the news at 11 o'clock. And the line for people to try and mail their forms is around the block. And Homer says to Lisa, those stupid people are lining up to pay their taxes. I paid my income tax years ago. <laughs> Dad, you have to pay it every year. No! <laughs> I paid my income taxes years ago. Uh, all right, we're going to do one of those. Uh, um, oh, here they are. Uh, let me see. Oh, I think we did this. Chat room, did we do this? Uh, can a boxer have a beard and still compete in the Olympics? Can a boxer have a beard and still compete in the Olympics? No. Yes, no. <laughs> Dwindle said we did it, but I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> yes, and she can also win the gold. That's, <laughs> that's very funny. Uh, the answer is 
No beards. And mustaches are also forbidden. All right. Oh, you know what? We probably did this before, but I don't remember the answer. Does a gallon of water and a gallon of ice weigh the same? Does a gallon of water and a gallon of ice weigh the same? No. No. Ice is, ice is lighter? Ice is less dense? Ice weighs, wow. Wow, water. Well, we're, we're all over the place. Water weighs less. Above it says water weighs more. Less dense. Ice, okay. Chat room. A gallon of water weighs more. A gallon of water weighs more. Uh, all right, so we'll get one that we didn't do. Um, you know what? Let me see what these cards were. All right. God Almighty. I don't know how. Yeah, I told you I bought some more cards. These are music question. These must. I think these must be for people, not our age. Or maybe you know. Let's just. Uh, Brandon Flowers. Is with which band? I don't know the answers either. I mean, I have the answer, but I don't. Brandon Flowers. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. The Bloomers, the Daisies, the Killers, the Pansies, <laughs> the Gardeners, the Pushing Up Daisies, the Killers. Well, chat room, there are many right answers up there. A lot of funny answers. As if, as if you didn't know. Brandon Flowers is with the Killers. The Killers. All right, let's see if anybody else knows. All right, we'll do another one. The Writings on the Wall was a hit album for what all-girl group? Let's see. <laughs> I couldn't even name an all-girls group. The Writings on the Wall was a hit album for which girl group? Mm, uh, now, now I think nobody has it. It's not the Andrews sisters? <laughs> no. All right, chat room. Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child. All right, we'll put these away. <laughs> these two, they're too hard. Too hard. Uh, uh, um. Um. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. It was Easter. Easter just passed. How much did it have a picture of it? Uh, it's, it's hard to tell. How big was the world's largest hot cross bun? We're looking for pounds. How big was the world's largest hot cross bun? You know, it, it's not right that they don't give you a better... How could you ever... This doesn't even look like a hot cross bun, does it? It's a cake. How big was the world's... 237 pounds. 
You know what? There's some good guesses here. Huh? It is, yeah, it does look like focaccia. 100 pounds. All right, somebody there was, uh, it went by pretty fast, but I think someone said 250. The world's largest hot cross bun weighed in at 227 and one half pounds. And then there's a fact on the back of the uh, card. Did you know? says Guinness Book of World Records, that a grandmother in the United Kingdom owns a hot cross bun that was baked in 1821. More than 200 years ago. Gives you an idea when this card was. A grandmother in the United Kingdom owns a hot cross bun that was baked you know, you put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds, it'll be... <laughs> and paper, wet paper a, a, wet, a wet paper towel. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be like it was baked yesterday. Uh, all right, so we're going to do our snappy answer. All right. So I, I forgot who sent me this cartoon. It's a man, the cat is scratching the couch, and the man is saying, Mooch, are you scratching the cat, the couch? And Mooch, being a very, very snotty. sarcastic and snotty cat, says, No, I'm. Mutz, Jamma B? Okay. Oh, you're right. Jam Look at this. Jamma B knows all. Look at this. Mutts. Okay. Uh, no, I'm exercising my claws. No, I'm distressing it. Oh, that's good. Oh, I'm texturizing it. I'm sewing up the holes. No, I'm making firewood. No, the couch is scratching me. No, I'm decorating your living room. It's a new design. No, I'm sharpening my claws. No, I'm fixing it for you. I'm uh, combing the upholstery. <laughs> Mr. Dave said the couch started it. No, I'm, no, I'm, looking, I'm looking for loose change between the cushions. No, I'm saving it for you. No, oh, this is very funny. Jamie B says, no, this is our social media. I'm removing the ticks. No, I told you why last week. No, I'm sharpening my claws. I'm practicing my massage technique. I'm giving it racing stripes. I'm practicing to open my own massage business. I'm removing the sweater balls from the fabric. Spaceman says, no, the couch was looking at me wrong. Uh, yes, your bed wasn't enough. No, I have a lottery ticket here. Yes, and you're next. And another one. No, the couch started it. Um, that is so funny. Are you scratching the furniture? No. I'm sewing a button on your pajamas. All right. All right, chat room. I guess we will do some. Let me see. There was one other game that I had here. And, oh, um, let's have some fact of crap. I'm trying to find one we didn't do. Poland is the only country with a chemical element named for it. Fact or crap, okay? Uh, uh, uh. Poland is the only country with a chemical element named for it. 
Why did my chat room stop? Okay, now it's going up. Okay. Crap, crap. Wow. Wow. One true. Only one true. <laughs> Bleep Lurp said, of course, otherwise there wouldn't be this stupid question. Uh, Poland is the only country with a chemical element named for it is crap. Crap. What? In 2007, Spain's Balearic Islands extended full legal rights to apes. <laughs> I'm not making that up. Fact or crap. In 2007, Spain's Balearic Islands extended full legal rights to apes. What? True, true, true. Fact, says Pack, watch Planet of the Apes. Wow, we're leaning way toward facts. <laughs> Hawks Post, it's a fact and now they vote. <laughs> Oh, okay, Ranger Rick said, fact, uh, I guess it's from Planets of the Ape. <laughs> Flying out said, true, and tax refunds are issued in bananas. <laughs> and Twiddle says, and I can't, <laughs> Twiddle said, I can't even get a library card. <laughs> you have to be an ape, you have to go to that island. It is, in fact, a fact. That is very funny. That is very funny. <laughs> Mr. Dave said, and the apes elected Bonzo president. That is, chat room, you are so funny. That is very funny. Um, Mussolini, this is the final one on this card. Mussolini convinced Berlin to rename itself, uh, Ber Mussolini convinced Berlin, Georgia to rename itself Rome, Georgia by giving it a giant statue of himself. Doesn't make any sense at all. Mussolini convinced Berlin, Georgia to rename itself Rome, Georgia by giving it a giant statue of himself. True, no way, sounds about right. <laughs> Johnny Monday said, I hope that's crap. Spaceman is in with true. Crap, poop, tang, true. <laughs> Paul said, crap, he gave them a mini statue. Uh, crap, even if it's true. It is indeed crap. Okay, uh, so we're going to do some match game. Uh, where are my match game cards? All right. These are early on. <laughs> this is only match game number 5513. God, I, I wrote about 40,000 questions from Match Game. Here's question 21,260. Played by Walter McRae, Sheila McRae. Chat room, who, could, who would be a, a celebrity whose last name was Walter? Barbara. Uh, Barbara Wall. Uh, anyway, 
Yeah. Well, that show went, yeah. This was from uh, April 30th, 1968. <laughs> Mad Frank said, I haven't even written 40,000 words. Um, little Johnny said, can you help me with my blank homework? Little Johnny said, really, it should be, say, there should be something else in there. Well, I'm going to change it. Little Johnny said to his dad, can you help me with my blank homework? Uh, little Johnny said, to, can you help me with my blank homework? Uh, what do I do with my pad? Uh, my... Um, Okay. Oh, wait a second. Uh, uh, um. Um, new math, math. New economics with my stupid homework. That's funny. Physics. Quantum physics. Social sensing. Copied. Useless. Uh, all right, Dennis Little Johnny said to his dad, can you help me with my blank homework? And you said, French. No matches. Uh-uh, no matches. No matches. Thank you. Um, I said... Uh, arithmetic, math is up there. It's a match. All right. All right, let me just lower the music. Uh, uh, um. Okay. Oh, okay, this is good. Let me see who played this. Carol Lawrence and Jim Backus played this question. 5,513, and they played it. November 1st, 1963. When buying a new home, people like to make sure it's near a blank. When buying a new home, people like to make sure it's near a blank. Uh, oh, I know. I know. Uh, um, uh, school, nuclear arsenal, swingers club, cell tower, public dump. Um, okay, Dennis, when people buy a new home, they want to make sure it's near a shopping mall. Yeah, you, yes, Eric Duckman said supermarket. And uh, I got a match. I said they make sure it's near a school. And did anybody match my second answer? Uh, I said near the train. <laughs> Captain J, how long did it take to write 21,000? Well, the show lasted seven years. So divide seven. 40,000 by seven is how many questions I wrote every year. Um, all right. <clears throat> These are early on. This is before the show got canceled. And that's when went to Goodson and said, why are we doing these dreary blanks? Why don't we have more titillating blanks? Okay. And the very first question was, I've told this story so many times. <laughs> the first match game question I ever wrote was, Mary liked to pour gravy on John's blank. Okay. Mary liked to pour gravy on John's blank. Oh, let's play that. Let's play the first match game question I ever wrote. Mary liked to pour gravy on John's blank. Uh -huh. And then, of course, Mark Goodson laughed and said, what are they, they, they going to write? I said, they're going to laugh and they're going to say, 
Uh, th oh, there you go. Mashed potatoes, turkey, buns, wooden leg. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have a match. Oh. Ch chat room, I don't think I match anybody. Mary liked to pour gravy on John's meatloaf. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, 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 um, bum, bum, meatloaf, Becky meatballs, we would match that, that's good, um, oh, this should be interesting, okay, you have to fill the blank with a car, well, the question is, okay, you very rarely see a blank on the highways these days. Okay, you have to fill it in with a car. You very rarely see a blank on the highways these days. Boy, I even know if people are gonna remember this car. You very rarely see a blank on the highways these days. Oh my God, I got a match. Um, Let's see, Dennis has never driven, so he probably doesn't have a good answer. Dennis, what did you say? You rarely see a, oh, a Duesenberg. No. Um, I got one match, I believe. You very rarely see a Pinto on the highway these days. Canary yellow Cadillac, little red Corvette. Oh, Pinto, Pack NW, okay. All right, very good. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, a deuce, yeah. All right, you, go ahead, you can give yourself the bell. <laughs> That's a match. Uh, uh, um. uh, question 14,687. Played with Wally Ford and Mickey Mantle. Wally Ford and Mickey Mantle. I remember this. Um, we had the whole team on, and the, the tape machine kept screwing up, and they had a ball game that night, like in Chicago or something. And so they had limos waiting, and they finally finished <laughs> the match game, and they said, Dick run down there, make sure the elevator operators are, have the doors open. So I did that and I jumped in the elevator with them. And as they came out of NBC, the thing, there were a bunch of sports fans down there with uh, uh, autograph books and the, they just plowed on through and they go, that is the rudest ball team I have ever, I'm never going to, I said, guys, let me tell you what's going on. They're playing a game in Chicago, like in three hours. And so don't blame them. It's just a, it's just a thing that happened. And the other, the other thing that was very funny is there were fans that lined up in the lobby of NBC. NBC was in the middle of the RCA building. For a while, it was the NBC building. And they finally put ropes up so that fans couldn't get close to the elevators. Uh, and then they had a, a little rope entrance that if you got off the elevators, you walked that between the ropes. <laughs> and there was always 30 or 40 people there going, are you anybody? <laughs> and, and so I would just say, yeah, Humphrey Bogart. Are you anybody? Um, okay. That, um, the question that the ball team answered, John was blanker than Harry. John was blanker than Harry. Mm -mm -mm. This is before we started doing the double on Tom questions, as you can see. John was blanker than Harry. 
And Dennis isn't here. Uh, uh, um, John was drunker, hairier, fatter, balder, dumber, smellier, taller, finally taller. <laughs> hairier, faster. All right, chat room. Uh, Dennis went to get our... <laughs> Or Charlie the dog, whose body hair is coming in like crazy, but the hair on his paw that they shaved is still taking a bit of time to grow in. And mm -mm -mm. Um, let me see, do I have anything else here? Uh, um, well, you know what? You know, I want doing a lot of work here. I want to erase this, studio, so I'm going to show lighting. Uh, put in 20 new uh, light fixtures, and we're all set to make sure that everything is going to work when we plug in something new. So we put in a this uh, fuse box in the cell, but we installed our own up here, so we don't have, don't have to run downstairs. Uh, so get ready. We should have champagne for this. Uh, I guess it needs work. And, God, this guy helped me the entire time, <laughs> my assistant here. Uh, okay, so if you're a fan of the Gizwe show, and, and why would you be? Um, we had this, a viewer sent in a video about this last year for uh, one of our spots. <laughs> it never gets and old. And I wanted Thank one you. so much. And last year. Anyway. Uh, I've not seen it around in many years, but um, it, they're, they're, they're very funny. It's, it's so clever. If you don't know, Norm Blagman wrote the music for Mad Disco. Um, yes, I work with Norm Blagman, and his son is sometimes in this room. Norm Blagman... Um, Woody, Woody, if you're uh, Woody, are you? Uh, is Mad Frank? Is that you, Woody? Because Woody, I tried to play a disco thing on this time, and I got a takedown. Okay, I wrote the I wrote the uh, lyrics, and I played it on one of our shows, and I got a uh, a, a strike on it from YouTube that the copyright owners. Uh, anyway, all right, yeah. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... Uh, um, let me get this his theme going and get the camera off. I keep waiting for Jamma B to cut to the other camera. All right, Charlie, Charlie. Uh, uh, um, hang on, Charlie. Let me get this camera. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right, oh my God, oh my God. This is like that doggy in the picture. I've never been fed. Chat room, they don't feed me. <laughs> you can see his shaved paw. It's the one closer to the camera. Sure. It has a lot of a lot of growing to do. I have to. Oh, that's better, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. The chat room is here. Yeah, look at look. Come say hi to the chat room. Your fans, Charlie. The people who love you. Yeah. Do they have Do they have food? Do the fans have food? Where's that picture of the bacon? Where's the picture of the bacon? <laughs> So wags a lot. All right, Charlie, show your tail off. Show your tail. All right. There you go. There you go. Look at this. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. He, Charlie is such a joy, I'll tell you. <laughs> Except at night. Except at night. At 10 o'clock, Charlie starts going berserk. He likes dinner late. Used to oh, wait, just leave it till 11 and eat. But now we decided it's 10 o'clock is the time. And you can... He's never off by more than five minutes that he starts howling. It's 10 o'clock. Put the. We were walking out at the door the other day with Charlie, and as Charlie ran up the step, this guy walking by said, that dog is cute. No, that dog is top-level cute. <laughs> um, anyway, all right, so chat room... Uh, tomorrow night, Giz Whiz, and next Wednesday, we're back with another Giz uh, Fizz. 
I, I think that's it. Okay. Chat room, anybody else have anything else to say? The pause. Oh, that's very good. Dan says, Charlie's the pause that refreshes. That's very funny. Um, all right, chat room. This has been regular, old fashioned, totally unimproved Giz Fizz. I'm Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, Dennis Wonderland, Charlie the Dog, OMG Chad, Scooter X. Jamma B, Pac NW, Dan Duku. Oh, wait a minute, I have to go to the credits. Hang on. We're going these credits, and then we'll go to your credits. Get your credits ready. Uh, uh, um. Produced by So Wags A Lot, so don't blame the Gizwiz, and get me a treat. All right, George's researcher, Caesar, Loke. Up oh, there we go. Um, what a, a popcorn eater, Pack and W, assistant director of snacks, D. Claire, Giz One, snappy answer provider, uh, giver of credits, James, L.A. Era, costume designer, okay, punctuality monitor, Mad Frank, Loke, Toodles, oh, Myra Joyce, oh, Myra, are you in? Uh, producer of Pandemonium, uh, Hawks Post, inappropriate subtitles. Uh, lead kitty head scratcher, visually impaired com uh, ca camera operator. Uh, all right, chat room. I will see you all. Charlie, enough. It's not dinner time yet. Uh, Charlie, what is that? What is that? All right, chat room. I'll see you tomorrow night for Giz Wiz. And <laughs> <laughs> we'll be at a wrangler, at least for my cat. Is that Myra? No, Spaceman. Okay, bye, chat room. And now, the very clever fade out. Bye.